Well, there is no public transportation system in the world as hostile to women as the one in Mexico City. Well, now the metro system is using an unusual and probing approach to raise awareness about sexual assault against women. And hombres, you may want to take a look before you take a seat. To make men think before taking out aggression on women, the city has unzipped its penis seat plan. These seats are reserved for men only with a message to embarrass and enlighten the male gender possible offender. A video of passengers' reactions has gone viral on social media. In 2014, Mexico City's Metro was ranked as the world's worst for verbal and physical abuse towards women. Well, Mexico is not alone in its battle to stop sexual crimes against women. In the North Indian state of Uttar Pradesh, the police are deploying what they call anti-Romeo squads to crack down on sexual harassment. But there are claims that authorities are unfairly targeting Muslim men. Kanchan Chowdhury has positioned guards outside the girls' school in Meerut. She's concerned about the local boys hovering around the gates, trying their luck with the young women. The policewoman disapproves of this behavior. She confronts the boys and tells them to leave. For the past week, Kanchan Chowdhury has run the Anti-Romeo Brigade in the Indian state of Uttar Pradesh. It was introduced by the new Hindu nationalist government to improve morality. She says that's urgently needed. The boys should be afraid of us. Otherwise, they'll get into the habit of harassing women. It happens a lot, even to me when I'm not wearing my uniform. But scenes like these are causing alarm in India. Police from an anti-Romeo squad arresting young men for allegedly harassing girls. 15% of Indians are Muslims. And they're afraid that they're being unfairly targeted. The fear is justified. We meet up with Hindu activists in a park. They're looking for mixed religion couples, especially ones where the man is Muslim. The group's leader says they want to stop what they call love jihad, Muslim men targeting Hindu women in an attempt to Islamize India. If a Hindu girl converts to Islam, She'll have eight Muslim children instead of the two she'd have had if she'd stayed a Hindu. So instead of two friends, we suddenly have eight enemies. In recent elections, the Hindu nationalists won a landslide victory in Uttar Pradesh. Since then, the state's Muslims have felt an acute sense of fear. The government is shutting down butchers and slaughterhouses. Muslims now slaughter mainly chickens rather than the usual buffaloes, goats, and sheep. In the Muslim district of Meerut, we witnessed the authorities tearing down Muslim businesses that have no building permits. The mood is tense. Why is this only happening in Muslim areas? There are plenty such illegal buildings in Hindu areas, but they're not doing anything about them. It's only we Muslims who are being targeted. Back at police headquarters, the anti-Romeo brigade's boss denies there's discrimination against Muslims. She says she just wants to protect women from being attacked. But she does eventually admit that religion may play a part. Sometimes the boys conceal their religion. Then they seduce a girl from another faith and marry her. The girls are often so in love that they don't realize until it's too late. Those cases are terrible. And we're fighting them too. Discrimination by the Hindu majority is part of daily life for the Muslim minority. What's new is that it's now official government policy. And it's certainly not encouraging peaceful coexistence among India's many ethnic groups.